turn to Jesus Christ if you haven't already. Trust Him as your Savior and um, believe that He died for you, paid the payment for your sins. Place your faith in Him. Invite Him into your life um, to, to live in you, to control your life by His Holy Spirit and uh, know the peace that He offers you. And from there, if, if you are a new believer uh, or have just received Him as your Savior or you're a mature believer, um, let Him show you the joy in your difficulty because there is one. You see, for me, this, this gift of knowing Jesus Christ more intimately, it, and it was a gift, but it had, I don't know in Romania if you wrap presents, but in, in America, birthdays, Christmas, we wrap our gifts in paper, right? All kinds of pretty, pretty, pretty paper. Well, oftentimes in life I've discovered that when we are given the gift of knowing Jesus and God's Word more intimately, it's wrapped in really ugly, horrible, painful paper. And when I speak, I often use an illustration. I take a gold ring, put it in a gold-looking box, but I wrap it in garbage trash bags and thorns and have someone come up for the audience and try to give it to them. And they go, oh, no, it hurts, it hurts. And then I say, okay, you don't want it, I'll take it. They just think it's trash and it's painful, worthless and wasted. Who would want it? And I pull the paper back inside and, oh, pull the gold box out, get rid of the thorns, open the box, and there's a several thousand dollar ring inside and that's what's inside of our difficulties and um, it is knowing the life of Jesus Christ more fully and more intimately you know uh, Jesus told Paul my my grace is sufficient for you for my power my life in you is completed accomplished and fulfilled in your weakness and Paul said oh well therefore I will boast all the more glad I'll be all the more loud tongued about my difficulties be, because Christ's power rests on me. Therefore, I'll delight in weaknesses, hardships, insults, and persecutions, and difficulties. For when I'm weak, I'm strong because of you. And that is a privilege for me, knowing uh, this miracle of Jesus in me was the greatest, greatest miracle. Greater than me sitting here before you, waving my arms and talking out of a wheelchair. Knowing his life in me was the greatest miracle. And I would say, turn to him. Ask Him to come speak to you, help you, uh, fill you with His life, and turn to His Word. It's not just a historical document that we put on the shelf. It's organic. It possesses life. Open it. He'll take you to the right passage for you that will provide strength and truth and show you real reality, eternal reality. What we see around us isn't what's really real. What's eternal and lasting is what's real. And that perspective is gained through the Word. Sometimes it's so hard to see God in the middle of your problems. And most of the people think that it, it's a curse for them, that they have problems, that they have a disease or something like that. Mm -hmm. Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. I do. I did too for many years. And I was very depressed for that reason. Um, and it took a while to understand. for me to let go, for me to let go of my desires and everything I wanted. I, I mean, in my early 20s, I wanted so much differently for my life, and I could see it vanishing. The longer I stayed sick, the more my dreams were dying. And uh, finally, 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 God brought me to a place of contentment where I just let go. And I just said, you know what? This, this thing of knowing you so much more valuable than being able to play the piano, being up, being healthy, feeling great, having a great, happy mind, <laughs> knowing you so much better. Everything else is worthless. And we have it backwards. We think that success, being able to have a certain house, a certain car, do certain things, that that is success. And in reality, it's really empty. It's really empty. Jesus is the only thing that com can completely, totally fill us and fulfill us. That's what you do today. You encourage people with uh, your testimony. Tell us a few things about your ministry, Shades of, Great, of Grace. Well, I'm the president and founder of this ministry. It's something that God led us to found, um, my mother and I, as she was very instrumental in the early part of my ministry because she had to drive me as I would lie down in the back seat of the car to go, to go minister somewhere. But our goal is to help people learn, to lead people, to live by the life of Jesus Christ and His Word and to help them learn to apply 
Scripture in every circumstance of their life. My final question, can God change a tragedy in triumph? Oh, yes, 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 yes. He can turn a tragedy into triumph. You know, the scripture in Genesis that Joseph said, you intended to harm me, but, but God intended it for good. And there are many things that, that we think um, are out to destroy us. But if we would just look past it to see what God can do through it, we would see it for the triumph that it is. Thank you. Thank you, Natalie, for sharing your testimony with us here at Alpha Omega TV and uh, for reminding us what a powerful God we have and that He can do everything if we let Him just enter in our life mm -hmm. and uh, love Him as we should. Mm -hmm. Thank you again and may God bless you in everything you Thank do from you. now on. Thank you. Stimați spectatori, aceasta a fost povestea extraordinară a lui Natalie Nichols. Doar Halul lui Dumnezeu a ajutat-o pe Natalie să treacă acest test suprem al credinței. Cuvântul lui Dumnezeu i-a fost singurul sprijin de zi cu zi. Astăzi, Natalie își împărtășește impresionantă mărturie despre mângâierea pe care o dă Dumnezeu în încercările vieții și prin ea, Duhul Sfânt atinge și transformă inimi. Dumnezeu a dat un mesaj de care poporul nostru are nevoie. Haideți să ne îndreptăm privirile către Dumnezeu, Cel care a purtat-o pe aripile Lui în această călătorie și să învățăm din mărturia Lui Netălii să depindem de Mântuitorul nostru întru totul. Până la o nouă emisiune, vă lăsăm cu acest îndemn. Apropiați-vă de Cel care are toată puterea în cer și pe pământ. La revedere!